Welcome to Coulter Holmes Inside World Pickleball Show, a weekly program featuring the sports lifestyle and action on and off the court of the fastest growing sport in America, pickleball. Hello, everybody. I'm Carl Foster. Welcome to this week's edition of Coulter Holmes Inside World Pickleball, along with Melissa McCurley. Thanks, Carl. I'm Melissa McCurley, president of PickleballTournaments.com here in sunny Las Vegas, Nevada. Coming up on this week's show, our cover story, Pickleball with a Purpose, thinking strong for our wounded warriors in Plantation, Florida. Me being retired military, I wanted to, I wanted to give back to the wounded warriors. I contacted them, um, I put it out on social media, and the response was overwhelming. My father was a 25-year veteran and my daughter's currently uh, a lieutenant in the Army also. So, you know, it's always good to give back. I love the Wounded Warriors. There's so many good, uh, good things we can do in this world, and this is just one of them. Melissa <laughs> gets up close and personal with Pickleball's power couple, Lucy Kavalova and Matt Wright in Las Vegas at the PPA National Championships. When we're not working, yes. oh. what do we do to fill the thing? So we play Pickleball sometimes to fill yeah. a lot of time when we can, right? Wow. So that's a good outlet for us. It's become a family affair on the APP Pro Circuit with the mother-daughter national champions Lee and Annalee Waters and now a rising mother-son pro tandem, Julie and J.W. Johnson, heading for the Delray Beach Pickleball Open in March 2021. But the first time that we actually teamed up was only about a year ago. And we kind of teamed up last minute, just thought we'd have a good time, and we ended up coming in second in the pro division, and we thought, well, hey, this, this worked out pretty well. Let's give this a go. And a year later, we won nationals, and now we're partners forever, or as long as she'll have me. Well, we moved to Florida about three years ago, and we were looking for something to do in the evenings that wasn't tennis because he plays tennis most all day long. And uh, so we all picked up a pickleball paddle and went out and tried it because we all had a tennis background, and we loved it. Like, we were all addicted instantly. We'll also help improve your game with the Engage Pickleball Tip of the Week from national champion Steve Kennedy and the debut of a new segment, The Competitive Edge, with gold medal champion Lee Rosenthal as he gets inside the head of top doubles pro Steve Deacon. All this and more to come on Coulter Holmes' Inside World Pickleball Show. This week's show is presented by North Point Bank, relationship-based banking your number one choice for home loans and high interest savings. And PGA Village Verano, the award-winning gated community in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Still to come on the Coulter Homes Inside World Pickleball Show. You're watching Inside World Pickleball. Shopping for a new home in Port St. Lucie? Start your search at PGAVillageVerano.com. Discover a resort-style community by Coulter Homes featuring social and fitness clubhouses, award-winning homes and villas, championship golf next door, a 55-plus neighborhood, and South Florida's largest private pickleball center. See virtual tours and build your dream home online with interactive floor plans at pgavillageverano.com. North Point Bank works to be a different kind of bank, with you at the center of everything we do. We customize products and services using a client-focused approach which means listening and then delivering on quality solutions for our home lending clients. Whether that's a low down payment for first time home buyers, alternative financing solutions for self-employed borrowers, or streamlined construction options to build the home of your dreams, we've got a solution for you. Connect with the Brandt team, your local lending experts at North Point Bank to learn more. The Wounded Warrior Project was founded in 2003 and serves veterans and service members who have suffered a physical, mental injury, illness, or wound while serving in the military from September 11, 2001 or after. More than 52,000 servicemen and women physically injured in recent military conflicts, 500,000 living with invisible wounds from depression to post-traumatic stress disorder, 320,000 experiencing debilitating brain trauma. The numbers speak for themselves, because not every warrior can. With the support of the community of donors and team members, a voice is given to those needs to empower our warriors to begin the journey to recovery. Andy Rubenstein, a former military veteran and pickleball enthusiast, brought his passion of pickleball for the purpose of serving our wounded warriors with a charity pickleball tournament at Plantation Central Park, Florida, that raised over $10,000 for the Wounded Warrior Project. 
Andy Rubenstein with me right now. And Andy, we've got Steve Kennedy doing a clinic behind us here. It's just great to see the pickleball community come together. And when did you get an idea you wanted to do this to try to give back to our wounded warriors? Well, so it all started, it kind of started like three years ago when pickleball wasn't as crazy as it is now. Um, we started with like 30 teams and we did it for a, a different cause and then the following one we did it for a different cause and then this one I was like, you know, I want to I want to make it big where, you know, I know COVID was going on, but I, I got the procedures and everything is seems like we, we were good to go and uh, and me being retired military, I wanted to I wanted to give back to the wounded warriors. I contacted them. Um, I put it out on social media and the response was overwhelming. Um, over 100 teams, 125 teams are uh, going to be playing uh, today, mixed doubles Saturday, men's and women's doubles tomorrow, Sunday. Engaged Pickleball Senior Pro Champion Steve Kennedy joined Andy's mission with a strategy clinic to open the day. You've been out there quite a bit uh, seeing uh, pickleball really exploding even during a pandemic. I mean, yeah, I mean, look, where pickleball is played at a distance, right? It's not like we're right on top of each other. So I think that, you know, it's one of the safer things that you can do. We're outside uh, for the most part, even if you're up north, you know, we're still at a big distance. And, you know, if you feel like you got to get close in, wear your mask and, you know, things should be, be uh, pretty good, you know. Appreciate being part of it. I will look for some more of those great tips. I'm going to watch your clinic here today and try to get some pointers. I'm playing this tournament for the first time myself. All right, good luck and God bless your partner. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Steve then joined some of the newer touring professionals, Johnny Goldberg and Regina Franco, for an exhibition prior to tournament play. I think Pickleball is played almost at the same way in every single level. The difference is when or how much you wait for that right opportunity. Like, always that's what I tell myself because I love to hit the ball so hard every single time. But I, I have to thank it. That's something that my partner Sarah helped me with. I have to win one more ball. One more ball just to set the ball and the point. So I think that's the difference between a 5-0, 4-5, and a pro player. Yes. And as far as the dinking and the banging and the difference in the game itself, and you're seeing that progress, and it's probably a little bit different on the pro tour than we see out here in some of the rec tournaments. So yeah. There's a lot more dinking on the pro on the pro level and um, and the amateurs. They're usually banging, but if you want to be successful in this game, you you have to dink. You have to slow it down because it's just not going to work. The banging, you're either going to hit it out, or they're just you know the high level is just going to just put it right back in your face. Top doubles pro Martina Coakley, also donating her time, has formed American Pickleball to host events as well as competing at a high level. Yes, American Pickleball was born this summer. Uh, not that we were bored during Corona, but um, we just thought, why not bring in a patriotic pickleball company together? My husband's still active duty um, Green Beret, and I'm uh, born in Slovenia, just became a citizen in March. So I'm, thank you, very proud of that, and I think this is the greatest country. Um, I'm very proud to, you know, uh, support my husband and his military career and now bringing this into pickleball and just do well for pickleball. Um, really excited to give back so that's what we're here today. I thought uh, this was a great opportunity to um, give back to the Green Beret Foundation and obviously support the Wonder Warrior uh, project. So Andrew Coakley, I uh, just talked to your wife Martina, we saw her in Hilton Head, so she's quite active as a professional pickleball player and you're still active in the military, so how's that go as a military pickleball family? Well, we, we stay pretty busy, so uh, I try to be supportive of Martina, so she supports me during the week, uh, you know, work pretty long hours, but uh, try to support her helping out with the kids. and. Uh, and supporting her traveling and doing what she needs to do, um, you know, to be a pickleball pro. Talk about the Green Beret Foundation and some of the things that you guys have been doing. Right, so the Green Beret Foundation is uh, near and dear to my heart. Uh, I know some of the folks on the board. We're not directly affiliated with the Green Beret Foundation, but we do uh, give a portion of all of our proceeds to the to that foundation. Um, so that's uh, that's important to me. It, it helps out a lot of the uh, the families and, and the folks in the you know serving actively who. Uh, you know, spend a lot of time deployed and uh, assume quite a bit of risk. So. As a Vietnam veteran myself, I played my first men's double tournament to join over 130 men, women, and children dinking and banging pickleballs for over 12 hours a day, paying tribute to our wounded warriors. Bob Rothstein, one of the local players in the area and uh, playing in the men's doubles and mixed doubles, but uh, talk about uh, you know, the event overall and how this is for the community. This is a, a great event that Andy's putting on. Couldn't think of a better organization to do it for, uh, being a wounded warrior himself. Uh, he's a great player. 
terrific. I mean, look at the turnout. It's awesome. It's awesome. And it's going to raise a lot of money for Wounded Warriors. So couldn't think of a better thing to do. Andy Rubenstein, we salute you and the growing pickleball community for delivering their passion for a purpose in this third annual event and look forward to year four. If you miss supporting this event, make your donation today to the Wounded Warrior Project at www.woundedwarriorproject.org. Covering the recent PPA championships in Las Vegas, Melissa caught up with one of Pickleball's power couples on and off the court. Top five players, Lucy Kovalova and Matt Wright. And what got you uh, into Pickleball? I'm going to go first to me. I'll just say that Matt got me into Pickleball, so I will let him explain how. Okay. <laughs> we, um, I, I was getting a little burned down on tennis, and so I, I was looking for something to scratch that competitive itch. We kind of stumbled into Pickleball by default. We had a group of friends and I, and I always give a shout out to Jack Oxford, who was at that US Open the first year. Yes, he was yes. my partner. We had created this, what I always call like a makeshift tennis game where we would puncture a tennis ball and we would take a wooden paddle and we would take a tennis court and tape it off and just play what we called paddle tennis with very random rules. Some people saw us playing one time and said, have you ever heard of pickleball? And we said no, we looked it up, we gave it a shot, and over time, I say over time, it happened pretty quickly, we fell in love with it and just kept playing and playing and playing. And then Jack texts me one day and says, hey, there's this tournament, first ever U.S. Open in Florida, and we're like, there's a U.S. Open at Pickleball? And he wow. said, yeah. And, and then over the weeks, it was like, I talked to her, I was like, I think we're going to go play it. And, and then... I think we had this discussion in a bar over a couple of drinks, and I was like, okay, sure, let's play. Go to Naples, have a vacation? Yeah, yeah why not? Yeah. And then we ended up playing, and we kept playing more and more tournaments. Just fell in love with it. Yeah. Fell in love with it. Yeah, and then you guys met that first year, didn't you? In the age yeah. divisions. Yeah. yeah, that's that's what I recall. We played Kyle We played Kyle Yates and Jen LaCour in our first, first day of pickleball, first tournament ever was that day against those two, and the match was... It was like 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, and it, it, wow. and it was out on the back court. And Kyle and I laugh about it to this day because we always say, like, that was one of the most fun matches we've ever played. We're out there playing tennis. <laughs> we have, like, no, like, the dink, we're like, yeah. whatever. What like, that? we're not here to dink. <laughs> and, like, so it was, it was a fun match. Oh, yeah. well, how exciting. Yeah. Thank you both. Pickleball, especially during the pandemic, has kept families together, and Delray Beach, Florida, has seen two mothers team up with their kids on the pro circuit. At Hilton Head recently, we caught up with Julie Johnson and her son, J.W., an up-and-coming top pro about playing with family. How is it playing with your son? I mean, uh, obviously, growing up, he's listening to you. You're in charge. Are you in charge on the court, is he? Of course. <laughs> so it's typical family. Sometimes it's really fun and sometimes it's really hard. Yeah, right, JW? So how is it? You know, I've talked to Annalie, you know, playing with your mother, obviously, but it's fun to play with your mom, be able to do things together. But, you know, being competitive out there, you know, uh, who gets on who? I mean, are you guys just always get along on the court? Mm. <laughs> uh, we get a little confrontation from time to time, but uh, other than that, it's okay. Just 
so. We always make up, right, Dave? Yeah, yeah. Yo, you, you're going to go home together, so you're going to make up, because otherwise she's not going to cook you dinner, man. You'll be out, out of luck, right? Yeah. Continue success. It's great to see the family aspect, and pickleball is for everybody, so it's such an enjoyable sport. And my 14-year-old daughter's playing in Pictona today. Oh, really? Yes. Awesome. Yes. That, that. Do you guys play doubles together, too? We have not. She's really started working on her game, and um, she's playing up in... 4550 five, oh now and she's doing good so we'd like to we'd like to try that yeah mm -hmm. well, awesome good luck you guys in the tournament good seeing you thank you thank you national champions lee and daughter annalee waters have enjoyed early success winning the national championship at indian wells in 2019 also residing in delray beach and have found that mother-daughter bond on and off the court now how is it playing with your mother i know how probably from the father's side and the mother's side playing with your with your child is great but as a young and upcoming pickleball tennis player and your mom obviously always telling you what to do growing up and listening to her how is it on the pickleball court when who makes the decisions well i don't think we've ever had an argument on the pickleball court i feel like when we're on the pickleball court court we're partners but we have like kind of like a mother-daughter intuition where we know where the other one's going to be on the court and i feel like we just help each other like mentally and physically on the court when you look at it, we look at the Bryan brothers, we look at families and so forth. Obviously, you're with each other all the time, so maybe mentally you're together, spiritually even know each other's movements, you know, more so than just your average double part, because you've played doubles with other people, and I don't know if you've played doubles with other people also, but uh, what's the big difference in, in, in your doubles partners and getting that chemistry on the court? Right. I think we kind of call it our it factor. Um, you know, we never feel nervous with each other. If we miss a shot, we know that the other person is going to be supportive and not give us the eye roll or, you know, get mad at, get mad at us, which is huge in pickleball. To, to not have that pressure from your partner, it really, I think, gives us that step up. And like you said, um, we do kind of know who's going to hit what shot, when, where, how and that helps you prepare for the shot that's going to come back at you. So we're always like kind of that split second ahead, I feel like. The Waters will be the pro host for the 2021 APP Tour event in March, along with Steve Kennedy at the Delray Beach Tennis and Pickleball Center. And registration has just opened up. And guess what? Julie and JW will also be competing in Delray, showing pickleball has become a family affair, pro and amateurs alike. Still to come on the Coulter Homes Inside World Pickleball Show. Discover the plus in 55 plus living at Crestwind Palm Beach. Located in Westlake, Florida's newest city, Crestwind Palm Beach is a fresh new home choice designed for the next generation. Crestwind Palm Beach is a 55 plus community for those who thrive on a happy, healthy life through fitness, nutrition, and relationships. Nine decorated models now open. To learn more about all the pluses Crestwind offers, visit CrestwindPalmBeach.com. That's CrestwindPalmBeach.com. North Point Bank works to be a different kind of bank, with you at the center of everything we do. We customize products and services using a client-focused approach, which means listening and then delivering on quality solutions for our home lending clients. Whether that's a low down payment for first-time home buyers, alternative financing solutions for self-employed borrowers, or streamlined construction options to build the home of your dreams, we've got a solution for you. Connect with the Brandt team, your local lending experts at North Point Bank, to learn more. It's time for the Engage Pickleball Tip of the Week with Senior Championship Pro Steve Kennedy. All right, guys, let's talk about the third shot drop back in. Again, I find in my teaching career here that people are obviously stronger to their forehand side third shot drop, but it's okay. If we get that back in, again, there's no panic situation here. It's going to be a real short backswing. The body's going to stay pretty much open. You see I've coiled up a little bit. I want to make sure that I'm coming from the underside of the ball. As you see, I'm isolating my shoulder here, guys, right? Battle face is a little bit open under the ball. We talked about, about pocket height 
at contact point like we did on the forehand. I don't care what you do in your pickleball life. I want you to try and play this game out in front of you. So put blinders on yourself, have them go out, and this is where ideally we'd like to play pickleball. Forward of ourselves like this, okay? Now, that's a perfect world. It's not gonna happen all the time, but when I can make that happen, that's what's gonna make you a better player. That's where your leverage is, that's where your visual is, everything's forward, okay? So on the backhand third shot drop, if Lee was up a little bit, my friend Lee, you see where the paddle's gonna stay forward, guys? As the paddle's forward, nice little lift on that shot. Nice little lift, it's a very abbreviated backswing. It's nice and soft. Good, and I lift up on that ball, right? And it's soft, and again, guys, look at my left hand. I'm counterbalancing myself. Often I'll tell people when you hit it, wave to the crowd, All right? So it's a cool little tip that I like. Pretend there's more than Carl just watching here. And I got my hand up and I can wave to the crowd over there. The paddle's forward and it's nice and soft. I'm under and I'm lifting. Biggest mistake I see on third shot drops is way too big of a backswing and trying to hit a third shot drop when the ball's high or unbelievably low. All right, we've got to find that sweet spot in that shot. All right, pick the right times. Remember, whether it's a forehand third or a backhand third, it's paddle out. This is the line of demarcation. The paddle doesn't go behind my left foot here. If it did, it was too far. So it's from here, contact, lift. Forehand, line of demarcation, that's too far back already. That's enough. Contact and the lift and the hold at the top. Big thing about third shot drops, forehand back in, is limit your backswing, find it pocket or lower, get under the ball, isolate the shoulder, follow through up and lift, and hold water at the top. This is Lee Rosenthal with Inside World Pickleball in beautiful Hilton Head, South Carolina. And I'm here with professional pickleball player, Steve Deacon from Vancouver, Canada. And this segment is the competitive edge. And Steve and I were having a conversation about what he's doing to prepare for his schedule, his very competitive schedule. And Steve was just telling me a little bit about the next nine weeks. And it was a great conversation. Steve, tell me a little bit about what you have going on. Sure, I got a, a really aggressive uh, tournament schedule next year. I'm, I'm hoping to play, you know, 30 to 35 tournaments. And uh, uh, for, for me, in the next eight to nine weeks uh, prior to January, uh, I, I'm really going to start working on the fitness end of things. Like if you've got a, a, a strong body, uh, you know, your, your pickleball game will fall into place. Excellent. So what kind of things do you have in store for your training? Oh boy, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit scared, but I'm not scared of hard work. So I, I, I'm going to be really working hard, uh, obviously, you know, around this area here, core, legs, uh, you know, going to be two, three hours in the gym a day, uh, try to eat a little bit better. Um, I, I find what you put in your body is your fuel. If you're not putting good stuff in, you're not going to perform your best on the court. Is there anything specific that you do nutritionally that you intake or that you avoid? Well, I tell you what I intake a lot of these days, and that's sugar. Uh, I'm going to be completely cutting that out. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a, a red meat type of guy. I find that type of protein, uh, for me, uh, helps me get through a long day. On game day, after a long day, knowing you have to come back the next morning to compete again for many, many hours. How do you wind down, refuel, re-energize, et cetera? Yeah, for me, it's a, it's a big meal. It's usually a big piece of red meat, some potatoes, some broccoli, uh, tons of fluid, electrolytes. Uh, and I also like to, uh, to be horizontal at the end of the day and you know, a lot of uh, elevating the feet and, and just uh, getting really good sleep. That makes very good sense. And what types of things do you do for cross-training? A lot of people like to cross train. We hear about cross training. What other sports do you en do, do you enjoy that you work into your pickleball game? I, I like mountain biking, uh, so I, I, I try to uh, to ride the bike as, as much as I can. Um, you know, I do have a swimming pool in my yard, but uh, I, I don't do that as often. Uh, but I find uh, you know, and, and also like even running stairs and stuff like that is huge, and, and skipping. Excellent. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your time here today. We wish you the best of success. Lee Rosenthal with Inside World Pickleball with professional pickleball player Steve Deacon.
And that's this week's edition of Inside World Pickleball from Plantation Central Park in Plantation, Florida at the Wounded Warrior Charity Event. It's called Pickleball with a Purpose. We'll see you next week on Inside World Pickleball and Carpe Dinkum. This week's show is presented by North Point Bank, relationship-based banking, your number one choice for home loans and high-interest savings. And PGA Village Verano, the award-winning gated community in Port St. Lucie, Florida.